hi birthday video number three and we have our midi blythe and here she is absolutely love her i'm always looking out for sort of the blinds midi blinds uh, this sort of class is used when people are selling them on ebay but this particular one was unopened so i'm like oh okay so i was a bit a bit worried because the price was really really good uh i'd seen her and she was sort of 200 pound plus anywhere else and i can't remember how much we paid it was approximately 90 um so it was a bit of a joint present this one um but she seems perfect i've not opened her my husband did open her because i needed him to check that everything was there and it was a legit purchase because it came sort of a bit before my birthday as far as i'm aware he says everything was there everything's great so we're going to have a look at her i'm quite excited because she is an original as well which is nice to have i've only got one other midi blythe that's original i have some of my fakie girls that are from aliexpress or my aliexpress girls they are gorgeous love them so much but it is nice to have one of the originals and i just think i love her outfit the era of her outfit is just so adorable so we're going to get in and have a look at her next I said these videos have been done back to back just because I want to get in the boxes, but I will, they will have been staggered out throughout the week. So I will see you in a second, top down to have a look at this little girl here. So I'll see you in a moment. Good morning. This is the final video of my birthday videos. And here she is, my adorable Midi Blythe. It is Surely Suzanne, or is it Surly Suzanne? Is that, that's Surely, isn't it? Surely Sur Surly? surely it surely isn't it surely Suzanne. i'm pretty sure now this is one that was the ebay find now when i saw her i couldn't quite believe the price and it was approximately 90 pound ish um because when i went to look at her because you always have to double check be careful when you're buying off ebay i've been stung and it is really frustrating so be careful so i went to go and see what her pictures were meant to look like what she has in her box how much her price was all those sort of things i hope i have researched enough i think i have by the look of it but i did do a bit of research and she was coming in at 250 plus 250 pounds that is plus whereas like i say we got her for about that 90 so I, I thought i couldn't believe it was such a good bargain at first um so when i saw her i went like well who's buying me what for my birthday and who's gonna donate and all this sort of thing and i got her yeah and as i mentioned in one of my other videos my um i think i mentioned in the clip before on this as well uh i did get my husband to check her out because it came well before my birthday and i didn't want to risk me opening the box and there was nothing in it or something sad like that and believe you me things like that do happen so please be careful when you are shopping around but she even came in the original Takara Tomy box. So I'm like, well, that's a good sign because I know the, the only midi that I've got so, uh, that's an original or a, I can't think of the right word for it, um, did come in a box like this. So I'm like, well, that's good. That's a good sign. So this is the box she came in. So we don't really need to look at that box. I'm just wondering where I put my scissors. Why put my scissors here? They're there. And so I've got bits of plastic everywhere from opening the other dolls because, as I mentioned before, I am actually opening them back to back because I want to see them because uh, they were birthday presents. I want to get in there. Um, but obviously, you'll be seeing them on staggered sort of stages. So we'll go back to this. We have Blythe here. And as I say, surely, surely. I think that's surely. Please correct me. They're saying that it's really hard to correct somebody when you have to spell it because then it still doesn't make any sense, does it? On the bottom, a little bit of information regarding her. Most of it is in Japanese. We'll turn her over. Again, most of the box is in Japanese, but it does say Blythe is a trademark of Hasbro 2020. So let's have a look. So we've got Takara Tomy, Hasbro. Don't think there's really much else on there to show you guys. Now, I do know the box was slightly damaged. That's that's not from her that's why my husband opened it but i did know that the box was a little bit dinted i think that's why the price was what it was but i'm not a box collector really so it didn't make any difference to me now let's try and get in this i will keep her box if for whatever reason i can't imagine i'm going to but say if i did need to sell her or something like that at some point i have the box to repackage her up in then so let's see let's check that he checked everything oh, i need to keep that box over there don't I? i've got a pile of boxes on the floor from the previous video so i've got to sort them out 
And just look at their little face. Love the era of her outfit. That was the other thing that I sort of really went for with her. Her stand is gorgeous. It's pink. What a cute little stand. Right, let me get that out. In fact, if I could just cut across there, hopefully, will it fall out? Yeah, that's better. It's always finding a way in these boxes um, that you can sort of sort of cut at it from the back, preferably, because you don't want to damage it. So we have this absolutely adorable pink stand with Blythe, obviously, on it. Blythe with the E there. And let's take the stand out. That's that's lovely. That is just so cute. That, it's a stand, I know. I'm getting excited about a stand, but it's cute. What's this? Uh, customer support details again. Irrelevant at this point. Is there any, oh, wow. <laughs> Lots of little bits to cut off at the back. And they're all sort of like plastic bags rather than um, sort of... I can't think of the word. Those horrible little plastic tags. Uh, I know they're called something. I've heard other people call them things, but I still can never remember. Um, now, this is an older doll. Uh, packaging is getting better, I have noticed, with a lot of companies now. So, obviously, the older dolls are still going to have a lot of plastic with the fastening. But there's not actually that much. There is the plastic bags, I suppose you could argue. Um, but otherwise, it's all a bit of sewing cotton. We can cut through those. Oh, let's pull that one out. I'm not sure what we've undone at the back, at the front there. You watch, I'm going to turn it over and everything's going to fall out. That's another bit of sewing cotton that's just fastened down. So that's good. We need more things like that. Sewing cottons, ribbons, things like that to hold the dolls in, which some companies are already doing, which is great. Right, so I suspect that's holding her in now. Let's have a look at what we have got here. Nope, there's something holding her in desperately. What's holding you in place, Mrs? There is a piece of tape around her head. I'm carefully... Ah, is that it? And then her hair is in more little pieces of tape. Right, I think that's part of the head out. Well, I've been having fun with the unboxings. I say it's not as bad as the designer uh, Snow White was, but I did mention in the last video, I understand that because... Most people will be keeping her in the box, so you don't want her to sort of fall out, so to speak. Right. Well, these were well and truly fixed in, so we know they've never been taken out. So we've got there, so that's everything out of that part of the box. So we'll put that over there. And here she is. Just look at this little cutie. We'll take this off her hair. I mean, she's probably been in the box for some time, so I'm not sure how her hair will be. Let's take those off. We've got more plastic. What's this plastic stuck to you, missus? There we are. So more plastic there. A hair will need teasing out. I'm, you can feel there is some product in it. I'm not going to mess with it too much. In fact, I might sort of even leave, semi leave it in these. I don't know. Let's have a look at her eye movement. Now, obviously, because this is a midi, um, I've got no open and closing. I know there's ways of doing that, but it's not something I'm sort of sort of familiar with or able to do there's a piece of plastic over her eye movement let's take that off but we should be able to move her eyes side to side if nothing else so let's have a look are you are your eyes a little bit stiff missus they might be i know the feeling oh there we go so you get this little sort of well some people think he's creepy i think he's quite adorable her eyes move, can be moved side to side again if you're doing photos it's great because you can have them looking in different directions so it gives you that movement she's got a nice bit of head movement there which i do like let's have a look she has a shiny face i prefer the blinds when their faces aren't shiny but i've got nothing against them either look at this dress though oh, look at the detailing oh, all these different pieces of lace and little look at a tiny bow that is just the cutest little dress ever oh and there's layers on it we're going to take your dress off missus because everybody wants to see the dress and we want to see sort of the articulation if you've not got one of these it's nice to know look at that she's got these cute little bloomers on now they don't have a huge amount of articulation but they're cute to do it i think that is why a lot of people are either getting these and putting them on other sort of articulator bodies or they are buying the aliexpress versions because the articulation is great on them i think they're on the, the azone nemo bodies 
um, and things like that. So they have a lot of articulation, but you can still take fabulous photos. It, it doesn't bother me on one way or the other. I like the articulation because it is great for photos, but I, I'm quite happy that she's like this. And I wouldn't put her on another body because this is how she should be as far as I'm concerned. So I would leave her on this. Again, these little bloomers beautifully made. Got a little look at these little little pleats here and a little bit of lace to finish it off we're going to slide your dress back on there's even a little tiny weeny cameo there this is gorgeous look at the look at this the underskirt there as well how beautifully made is that i cannot fault the quality of the clothes i must admit they are absolutely stunning so should we get you back in the dress we will because you have some other little bits. You have some accessories there. We have some little socks by the look of it. And there's the cute little shoes. And I know there's a little hat in there. I can't remember what else there was. Let's just pull your little dress on. I just love this. Oh, look at the bow. Why did I not see that a second ago? She's got this fabulous bow on the back of the dress. I did see it clearly, but I just didn't say anything. Uh, but just look, that is just gorgeous. Probably a little sort of little Victorian girl a little tiny weeny stockings or socks let's squeeze one on that's one they went on nicely again beautifully made there we go let's see if your little shoes will fit over that these are little rubbery sort of shoes so they should be quite easy to pop on. Sometimes when they've got little socks on, though, it's not so easy. So I'm not going to have too much of a fight with it. Um, because, oh, it has, it has gone on. Actually, I don't know whether I've put that on the right foot. No, I have. There's a little button at the side. I think I've put that on the right foot. I'm going to take some photos. I can't wait to take the photos of her, actually, because I think she's going to be absolutely adorable. Oh, there we go. So they've gone a bit slouchy as socks, but she's got these little sort of little socks and shoes on, which are really nice. And this is the little hats. Just look at that again. Detailing. I love detailing. I find a lot of things I make nowadays. I don't have time to detail as much as I would like, um, but I really do appreciate it. Look at the bow there. We've got a lace layer over this. We have this gorgeous sort of braid over the lace there look it's doubled here we have got more lace we've got little roses and we have the bow at the back now i don't know whether what does it oh there's like no pictures on the box that's the only thing i'm gonna have to have a double check online because i don't know whether i'm perhaps supposed to undo that and it comes forward and under her neck it's got to hasn't it because the hat is just not going to stay on otherwise or does it stay on I think it's meant to sit further back so it's sort of more sort of sticks up like that because otherwise my little flowers get sort of squashed so i will double check on that because that looks like that's the bow for the hat but i think this should come round and this would go under her chin but i will double check if you've already got one let me know what you've done with yours have you left it like that or have you tied it at the front i just feel because you know like that's sort of sticking out i feel that that bow should be to the front i'm not 100 percent sure there so i'm not going to do anything with it at the moment hat's not going to stay on so i'm just going to i am going to slightly undo these curls i say it's not too bad but you can just feel that there is some product but i know it's when they're manufactured and if she's been in a box for a long time um because what i mean did i say 2020 i saw there was a date but i don't know if that's the date she was made has she got something written on her there is something written on her um by 2010 i think that's a 10 yeah 2010 so if that is when she was made she's been sat in a box for quite some time so obviously i think when the product's been in the hair that long it sort of leaves it feeling a little bit a little, little bit weird a little bit sort of sticky almost so and we'll i'm going to carefully tease it out i think i don't think i'm going to put a brush through it um i will see i might end up washing it um and try and just sort of get all the ringlets in if i wash it and then do it like proper little ringlets i think that might look quite nice 
but I will just sort of gently tease it out to get some photos done to pop on the end for you. But I am so, so pleased with her. I just think she is just so beautiful. And the detailing on the clothing and this little stand. Obviously, you can't see her stood up properly from that angle. But the stand is perfect. And I have the perfect spot for her. Oh, nearly knocked her over. Knocked you out then. Um, she's going to be going on the shelf. I say I've only got one other legit uh midi um but she's going to be going on the shelf with all my other sort of blithes and fakey blithes and etc etc because she will fit in lovely there with the others so that is it that is my third video for my birthday i'm going to be sat picking at this hair for hours aren't i i can just see it if i can get some like individual curls going i think that might be quite nice it's going to take a bit of work i think to get that to a state that i want it to be at anyway so again thank you so much for watching as i said that was the third of my birthday video of my dolly collection my family and friends know me well and i'm just so excited about what i got that i just wanted to share it with you all please pop likes comment shares you know what to do and i will see you all very soon i've got some christmas crochet coming doll crochet oh my, my head is bursting at the moment that's why i'm losing track of where i even am so i will see you all very soon with whatever video actually comes to mind so thank you for watching i'll see you all very soon bye bye for now